Hi guys, this is Air Dragon, and welcome back. And today I'll be showing you guys my top five Pokemon cards that I picked out from my Pokemon Finder. And yeah, let's get started with the number five card, and it is Giratina EX Full Art. Uh, this card is from the Ancient Origin set, and it's roughly around ten to fifteen dollars. Um, don't really know the exact price on it, but it's around there. And yeah, it's just a really cool looking card. Uh, full art and everything, the gold borders, the like dark background, it matches uh, Giratina really well. So overall, uh, the artwork is 10 out of 10 for me. It's just amazing. Really good. But the thing is, I would have thought that they would probably give him a better um, attack, base attack. Because he is a pretty strong legendary, um, if you guys know. And he is mo one of the most tankiest legendaries out there. Um, I remember playing like uh, Platinum or uh, Hargo Soul Silver, and you would do an event where you get Arceus and you get to choose uh, one of the three uh, dragons. And I chose Giratina, and it hatches, uh, I think, from an egg. And um, that's the only time where you can get a legendary in an egg, which uh, it came out to be level 1 and it had like 40 HP, and that is like insane for a level 1. So, yeah, um, pretty sad that they didn't really make him buff in the Pokemon card game overall that would be just like way too strong um, anyways but yeah I really like this card Garatina is like one of my favorite dragons uh, or legendaries so yeah there you guys um, how you guys know going at <clears throat> number four is my Japanese um, Mega Charizard Y so this card was a special gift from my friend um, and yeah, I cherish it really well. And the cool looking artwork on it is just amazing. And if you guys don't know uh, Japanese cards, they have this parallel um, type hollow with the EXs where you can actually see like a rainbow view. Um, keep doing this back and forth. And it's just really super reflective. Um, unlike, uh, what was it, English cards, they don't reflect most of the time. But yeah, for this, it reflects a lot. And it has like a hollow touch to it like the whole card is like if you feel it it's like a hollow glossy touch uh, kind of like a full art um like if you can feel the top of the full art but i don't want to take him out because you know want to keep it mint and yeah this is at number four and for number three is my sweet coon um this is actually a shiny version um if i remember correctly you would get this in a tin, I believe, and you get the regular Suicune and then the shiny version. So yeah, it's really cool looking uh, with that artwork in the background. And I would say the artwork is really uh, well drawn uh, because this is actually drawn, I believe. Let me see. Yep, this is actually drawn, so it's not like computer animated. Um, so really cool looking. And I got this from a trade actually. So, um, I think it came in a random pack. It was like, hey, I would trade this and this, and hey, it would be nice if you could trade me a pack. I was like, sure. So, yeah, I got that from a free random pack, and it, it turned out to be really cool. So, I just like have this right now sitting in my binder. And yeah, that's the story how I got this shiny Suicune. And at number two, Pikachu EX from the Legendary Shine Collection. And yeah, the artwork on this is just like 10 out of 10. Uh, nothing else to say about it because it's just really awesome looking and you have the parallel lines going through it and everything. And I believe this is like one of the um, coolest Japanese Pikachu EXs out there right now. Um, besides the Magikarp and the uh, Gyarados uh, Full Arts. Those are really cool too. Um, I've been trying to get one of those, but I think they uh, don't have them anymore, or I don't know, I can't find them as much uh, on eBay anymore. So yeah, uh, Pikachu EX uh, from the Legendary Shine Collection, or Legendary Hollow Collection, uh, is at my number two. And for number one, this is going to be everyone's favorite, um, well, not everybody's, but this is my number one favorite card that uh, was traded. Uh, from my friend and yes it is a base set Charizard 120 HP so <clears throat> the thing is 
it's not first edition, so that's kind of sad. But yeah, it's just really cool to have one of these Charizard. Like you know, just having one, not in the best condition, but it's not first edition. It's not shadowless. It doesn't matter. As long as I have one of these Charizards, I'm fine. Because this is like one of the best cards you can actually pull from a pack or trade from somebody. So yeah, Charizard base set. Um, look at that 120 HP. You can barely see it because of the red um, background and everything. And with Fire Spin with 100 energy. And if I remember correctly, this was one of the most strongest moves back then uh, for Charizard. So yeah. And let's do a recap of all the cards. So number one, Charizard base set, uh, Pikachu Legendary Shine or Legendary Hollow Collection, Suicune from the Hard Gold Soul Silver Tin, and um, this Mega White Charizard Japanese is actually from the Battle Deck from uh, Japan. So similar to the one where they did the Mega Rayquaza um, Battle Deck or the um, was it Dialga Battle Deck with H Slash? So yeah, kind of like that. And then we have the Full Art Garatina EX from Ancient Origins. So yeah, guys, um, down below in the comments, let me know which one is your favorite from all these five. Or like, do you like all of them? Or do you like one in particular? Let me know. I'm curious. So yeah, this is Aero Dragon, and I am signing out.